For et par uger siden kom Ringo Starr til København på en såkaldt promotion-tur. Verdenspressen fra Norge, Sverige, Danmark, TV og radio tog imod. Gromyko fik ikke så stor en modtagelse, men han har vel heller ikke været med til at ændre en hel verdens livsførelse, som The Beatles gjorde det i 60'erne. Now here's something you don't often see. Hello. Who am I? The invisible man. Wow. Is he with us? That's all. Messes up your hair, you know. She ain't cracking, whatever it was. Um. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Could you please? Way up, no. You seem to have a special way of uh, having the best musicians on the records. That's because I'm the best drummer you've ever seen. Truly, but we have never seen you here before. No, but uh, I mean, I do. I'm very lucky. A lot of friends of mine come out and, and will play on my record, which I thank them for. I mean, it's not that I'm going to help their career, because a lot of them are bigger, you know, they're selling all the records they need. Now, if you look at old records, not just mine, anyone's playing with anybody, because we just want to play, you know. So that's what it's getting on. It's better. It used to be like that a long time ago, when old bands would play together. Then it got very stiff for a while. And now it's getting really good. In L.A., I don't know about the rest of the world. It was in England for a while, where you'd play, I'd play with Leon, B.B. King, and... Stephen Stills and all those people, you know, but now it seems to have moved to Los Angeles as far as I can see. Or my type, it's not discotech music, which is New York and Miami, really. Do you feel that you're the person that should bring the Beatles back, to, the, the, the Beatles back together? No. <laughs> I would not take that responsibility. Uh, why should we get together? I'm busy, they're busy, everybody's busy. Let's get that out of the way right now. We're not getting back together. We don't care about Sid Bernstein. We are very friendly, and that's the end of it. I mean, it's boring that someone can write something in a paper, and I have to spend 20 minutes of my life in a room like this talking about it. Ringo, when you make an album, do you, do you, do you try to, to create a specific atmosphere? A uh, party. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, you start an album and it changes. It starts to take over you, you know, because you have your bad day and your good day. And we do about 15 tracks. Uh, we throw five away in there because we only ever put 10 out. And things you think, this is going to be fantastic, uh, just don't work in the end, right? Yeah. Uh, hey, baby, on the album. When we first started, I thought there's no chance in hell that this is going to turn into anything. Then suddenly it just turns into something. I liked the track before, I like it now. I think I did it better than Bruce Chanel. Remember it from the Liverpool days. Hey, let's have a vote on that. All those in favour, say aye. All right, thank you, that's two of us. Do you remember it from the Liverpool days anyway? Well, yes, I remember it because it's an old song, you know. I'm 36, you know, I came around with all those 62, records. 62, anyway. Yes, it was before that. 62, it came out here. 48 in England. <laughs> That's a little joke. I mean, I'm going to keep laughing because you're not going to get me down. Music all your life. I mean, you, you, it's said in the, in the news release that you design furniture as well. Um, yeah, do you sit in them as well? Uh, music is my main life, right? Yeah. Uh, acting because it's a part of it now, and films and music are getting to be one of the same situation. Furniture I designed, I got into because I bought a house and decided to, to design some furniture and thought, well, this is really good. You should have some. I sure. I mean, no, you. Can you set it? You. I mean. Right, and I did that for five years. I mean, I designed some really good furniture. Now I don't do that. Are, are they I selling? Want, 
Well, it's very expensive. <laughs> why? I mean, why? Because it's made out of steel and glass, and that's very expensive. Yeah. You did something with the Rolls Royce. Uh, we took the radiators. Have you tried yeah. to buy two Rolls Royce radiators lately? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's very expensive. It costs about two kroner less than a car. How, how did they like it, the Rolls Royce boys? Well, they wouldn't help us. Uh -huh. We wrote to Rolls Royce saying, sell us all your radiators, you know. We used to have a man with a mask and a swag on his back, you know. He'd say, hey, give us the money. <laughs> well, My own label has yeah. stopped right now. It started out because I wanted it. And I'm a musician, not a businessman, and I owe, and you forget, you know, and suddenly I get involved in all this business. And what am I doing here? I'm afraid that in life, if you run a company, it has to end up as a company. You try and run it as a fantasy, but it ends up as a company. Uh, I remember when you uh, released uh, Good Night Vienna. Good Night Vienna was a song. Keep the noise down! Uh, it was a song that, you know, Good Night Vienna. It's a very old song. It just means I'm leaving, so. I wanted to do the, the cover of, I like science fiction, as everyone should know. And that was the epitome of it, you know, the day the, the, the earth stood still. And it's only my head on top of Michael Rennie's body. And it says, good night, I'm leaving for a while. And it's like going on holiday. Sorry. How many close-ups do you need? Sir? How many, do you really want to get that close? Her vifter Ringo Starr for en gang skyld sin limousinechauffør af, før en lille tur rundt i byen. Here we are. Well, that's neat. Little do. When did were you sitting on a bicycle the last time? Oh, uh, must. Well, I have one at home, you know. In England, I had one uh, that Peter Sellers gave me, or his son gave me, a real, one of those American sort of weirdos with 12 yeah. gears. We actually go yeah, into you the... You put out your hand when you turn to the right. That's it, that's right. See the Tivoli, the famous Tivoli. It's oh, yeah, now. yeah, I heard about that. You've never been here. This is your first no, time. No, first time I've ever been here. We missed you the first time. Probably the last, if you're going to keep putting me on bikes. <laughs> <laughs> when you go on a promotion tour like this, uh, does that uh, interfere with your integrity? No. I mean, I make records. And I make records to sell records to as many people as I can, because I'm a pop artist, you know? How does uh, life treat you these days? Well, it treats me very well most days. I mean, you still have your downer days, yeah. you know, whatever, yeah. you, whatever you're doing. You get up in the morning and think, God, was it worth it? At the press meeting I, uh, that we just left, I thought you were you were a little tense. Was it a, uh, a strange meeting for you? I think I was just mainly tired, because I'd been up all night watching the uh, Muhammad Ali Norton fight. Are you a, a boxing fan, really, or are you...? Well, no, but you, you watch them, because it's, uh, it's a biggie, but now it's a circus. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's just it's boring now. But isn't pop music also becoming a circus, a lot of it now? A circus? Well, no, it's coming theatrical because that's what it is, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, this is much better. It's nice yeah, when you no, go fast. Is... But what, it's, what, uh... what is uh, your own music's interest? What, what is your own uh, uh, it... interest in music, your personal? There's a lot of it. I mean, I still like country music. I mm. still like uh, pop music. I don't really like jazz music. I still don't really like jazz. Uh, I think uh, we're... <laughs> there's no road on this street we're going down. No, this is uh, Walking Street. This is the Mall, right? You know, we're well, breaking all the laws today. It's good, though. I like the way people are doing this all over the world now, just so you just walk down and you're not frightened of being run yeah. over. And drop the cars. But you're a car fan yourself, aren't you? Auto uh, automobiles? Yeah. yeah, I like cars. Are you insane about them? No, no. I was at one time, I had about five of them, and then you say, what am I doing here, you know? So that was you're, it. You're on a... Uh, a touristic trip. Well, you yes. do when you first make money, you know. You go and buy cars, and you won't, you won't buy a suit. You go and buy ten suits. Yeah. Then you get out of that. But isn't it hard to come down from that? No. How you doing, sugar? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She's all right. <laughs> Just from home. Yeah. yeah. Well, which home? She's Danish. Didn't she speak English to you? Oh, I said, how are you doing? She said, 
Very well, thank you. <laughs> is Bob Dylan's yeah. new record in your shops, folks? Go and yes. buy it. Yeah. And mine, there's a picture of mine. Yeah. All the right, that's the first time I've seen it in a window. Oh, they're pushing. Well, uh, you know, but, uh, what, are, what are they doing now? Hi. But yeah, as a, you're not working so much as a band leader. I heard that you're interested in being a sideman, like, you know, just uh, going around playing sessions. with people. I like sessions. It's interesting to go and play with uh, different artists, you know, mm -hmm. the concept of what they want and what you can give them. It'd be you silly to go and play with, like... Uh, I remember you did a nice side with B.B. King once. B.B. King was fantastic to play with. Yes. I mean, that's one of the finest sessions I've played on, I think. For me, just for enjoyment, you know. He gave you a good feeling? Yeah. And back. he starts everything. Look out. Yes, Look out. This is your fan club. How are you doing? They don't know who All you right. are. Look, no, that's what's great. They don't Isn't know that who great? You are, you know? They're just waving at someone on a bike. Do you think you're, are you getting a new audience again? Yeah. The oh, generation yeah. gap, are you closing that in? I mean, it's interesting now. Some people say, uh, have you heard this new artist, Ringo Starr? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, because of the new uh -huh. records. So it's. Uh, so, uh, it's what, is interesting. Your, what is your name again? New Star, Ringo Star. Right. Right. Is that a Danish joke? No, where did you work before? <laughs> you know, all these things. What did I work before? Yeah. You know where I worked before. Oh, I, heard I was in the Fab Four. That's right. And then we broke up, and here we are driving down these streets. Can you dig that? I mean, that is weird. This is, this is where you're going to buy your fur coat, I believe, somewhere. No, where is it? Wedding gown, how about that? No, not yet. I just though. got engaged, yeah, right. Uh, which is interesting. We've lived together for two years. Yeah, but it, you know, it's sweet, though. I mean, it, we both felt like, uh, I think, school children again. I mean, we were looking at each other and laughing. I mean, it was beautiful. Holding hands. Yeah. I mean, we old hands anyway, but suddenly we got engaged. We just saw this ring, and I said, do you want to get engaged? And she said, yeah. And, uh, and then we felt really funny, you know. Uh, have you got half a pound of grapes or a kilo? <laughs> Here's your change. Oh, they put holes in the money so you can hang it around your neck. Well, that's enough of that. Must be a German station. How would you know? Music. Oh, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> we have filters, you know. Oh, look out! God, this bike is going to break my neck, I'll tell you. Push. Look! It's going! There we go. That's it. The end of the earth. And the camera seems to be pointing up at something. Yeah. Wow. Woo! That's a great view you got up here. That's the round tower? Yeah, it's great. Look oh. at that. Over there is Asia. Asia? <laughs> Are they old um, refineries or new refineries over there? They're from Christian the Fawcett's when they made the first snaps. Right, great. Now they're making new snaps. What's that little island out there? It's a fortress where we shoot uh, submarines from. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. Let's have a look around. You live in uh, Monte Carlo? Yeah, yeah, I'm a resident of oh, Monte Carlo. How high up? Um, about this high up, I'm 30 flights up. And uh, it's great because I look right over the Mediterranean and all of the harbors, you know, the, the harbor and the, ca and the castle where uh, Grace and her uh, husband live. Do you see them often? I've never seen them. Uh, they always seem to be away when I'm there. <laughs> He's coming, look out! <laughs> they run away. <laughs> what, what, what is Monte Carlo? Is it, is it just for tax or is it uh, Well, it's for two reasons. It's, it's, it's close to England for my children so they can come and see me and it's for tax. You know, because uh, the taxes are getting outrageous in England. I've paid enough, thank you, over the years. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I've decided not to pay them anymore. I guess, you, I guess you could buy a tower like this with your own money. I could buy a tower like this with uh, what I've paid in taxes. Give me that camera. You gonna take some pictures? Yeah, let me take some pictures. My point of view. OK. Well, I see just here, which we just backed on, some towers. It's full of towers, this place. Is it mm -hmm. famous for these towers? Yes, and the, and the chimneys. And the chimney. There's a great shot now, just like a jail. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's you. Hello. 
He's holding the battery. What do you think of it so far? Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Sorry. Look out. Now, here's the man who keeps bugging me with this camera. <laughs> Take a close look at this man. He tells you the worst jokes in the world. The worst jokes this man tells you. Shows the city. Shows the city. There's everyone in the close, way. Close through the bar. You can't see. There's a beautiful lady over there. Who's that? Let's see who that beautiful lady is. Oh, let me see this beautiful lady. Oh, I'm in love with this beautiful lady. Hello, darling. What are you doing here in Denmark? Mr. McAleemy, darling. Oh, Mr. McAleemy. <laughs> when you have to say you can't go on. Will you take like this me? camera? It's so blooming heavy. Yeah. God. And no, no, take it over. Continue. Uh, my shades, please. Thank you. Not without my glasses. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. From now on. You busy tonight? Maybe I take you for a drink. We have good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah. Go work. Go work, right? See, that's your slave driver. <laughs> oh. you can say. Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Have they gone? Yeah. No, 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 you say that. <laughs> Well, that's about all the fun we can get out of this place. <laughs> I think that light is very interesting over there. Is that a flying saucer? Okay, Ringo, this is a Danish game of pool. Let's see what you can do. This is Carl. Carl, the greatest player in the world, I hear. How you doing? Ringo Starr er ganske god til billiard. Her møder han Carl Larsen, der er 81 og den ukronede billiardkonge i Café Prins Jørgen, Stengade på Nørrebro. Det skal siges, at det er første gang, Ringo ser et billiard med kejler. That says four in English. Okay, hit me the ruler. Yeah. Oh, all right. What? That's four. That's a four. Right, glad you're ahead again. I've never seen this game in my life. I've just played uh, snooker, straight snooker. Yeah. No. Holy score. Wipe out! Mm. That's oh. all. Oh. See, now what would be your advice now, Carl? I mean, to hit? This bad is all this. To hit that one? Yes. Maybe I must be a card. Huh? That's it. Hey! All right! How many is that? Six points. Six points. You've got to watch yourself. Ten points. Ten? Yeah. Ten points. Look at that. I want to film with this. Ten points. Well, you're in trouble here, Carl. You're in definite trouble here, I can tell. I do that. Yeah, you're in trouble. Is that a good shot? If I just knock the, the white in, that's a good score? That's all right. It's two points. Only two. Oh, okay, that's a good shot, Carl, right? Yes. If I get the white in. There's a good there. Okay. Because yes. there's nothing else I can do. Woo! See that one here? 
Get down here. See this one? Get up. <laughs>